everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's Sweet Life. I've got a weird angle going on because we are organizing dance and cheer and softball, all the things, all the activity stuff. I realized today, I'm like, well, there's different dance every single day of the week and we need to uh, organize this in a fashion to where I know which dance clothes go which day and get it done. I'm muffin topping, I'm no makeup. I feel a little bit like dirt because I've had migraines the last two days. Thankfully, I haven't had one so far today, knock on wood. Um, that I don't get another one. So we're just hot mess express all around today, but I wanted to get this done because school started today and we need to be on top of things for activities. I ended up running some errands and running near Target, so I went ahead and grabbed another one of these containers. So we've had this one in the closet and it is not working. It does not roll anywhere, but I ended up busting it, or um, at least the thing came off. It doesn't actually roll anywhere. It just sits in the hall closet. And so far it's just had dance clothes, softball clothes, and then just extra like reusable bags. I have some of these in the car and Johnny has some in the car, but we always have extra ones for like on the go. This is when we got it Lion King. We saw Lion King in Austin, super happy about it. So I just grab these when we need to like go anywhere where we need a little tote bag, but I need to put these in another place. And then I'm gonna have one for Monday through Thursday. I think we don't have any activities Fridays, which is really good as we have like play dates and stuff on Fridays. So I'm gonna have one through for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then an extra, and then I don't know what else. Probably two extra ones. Extra dance clothes and then things that don't fit or things that are off season. So we're doing four days of dance plus cheer on one of those days and one gymnastics day as well. So we have lots of outfits that we need organized here. We need to get organized here. So yeah, again, muffin topping. Um, I have zero Fs after migraine days, but we're just gonna get it done. So I have to take all of these things out. And um, yeah, it's wonky right now. I gotta get that wheel back on. Let's see. Let's try to get this wheel back on at least for sitting here. And I don't have to worry about it falling over as much. Yeah, so that wheel does not actually stay in, but it will keep it propped up. So I will be relabeling these. These have like old labels on them. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. And I bought the new one at Target today. I'm gonna take off all the stickers. And then we've got a drawer full of dance clothes. Libby actually has dance clothes with her today because she's going to dance. We've got a pile of dance clothes that have been washed um, and then need to be put away. And it's just bad. Oh no, I hate when that happens. I have to work on this sticker later. It's not gonna come off easily. Come on, buddy. We need to come up with a way that these stickers always come off with everything, no matter what, because they're the worst. Sometimes they come off, and sometimes they want to stay forever. And I brought my labeler in, so we'll have Monday through Thursday. I'm going to go ahead and work on labeling these, and then we will organize a little bit. I'm not going to make a Friday bin for now. We might end up needing a Friday bin. I'm going to do one for extras, and then one for off-season. And I love this labeler. I got this from Black Friday from Amazon a long, long time ago, but it is a great one. I would totally recommend that one. I've had it for years now. Only thing is I just trim off these extra pieces. I don't like them to be that long. Actually, I actually need my bowl for the wrappers. This was my garbage bowl here. <laughs> For all my wrappers. I'm just gonna label them. Get it done. Yeah, I'm very excited. School has begun. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna start the labeling on the other side. So maybe we can stack these of them. That would be helpful if they stack. But this one's the one with the wheels, so it's not gonna be the one on top. Or maybe I can switch and put the wheels on this one and take the wheels off the old crappy one. We'll see. We can always move drawers around if needed. I thought seriously about buying two, but then I was like, this one is still perfectly good. But I have got to show you guys something that I just saw in here and I might pass out and um, I won't burn the house down. I don't make burn the house down jokes after, you know, our house burning down. <laughs> our, our house that we were going to buy burned down. But uh, there's something in here and I'm not going to touch it. Now this video is going to be over until Johnny gets home because I am not opening this drawer right here. And I'm about to scream. 
because it's like my worst nightmare. Worse than a worse than a scorpion, which we've had, I think like six or seven scorpions now. We're in Texas, so uh, scorpions are a thing. And um, one just like walked across the garage one day. I didn't have shoes on. Stella was in the garage with me. And it just kind of like scurried across the garage and I freaked out a little bit, but I ended up squishing it and sticking it in a bag so that the girls could see it. But I'm going to show you guys this. I'm freaking out major. This is like my worst fear come to life. <gasps> I'm freaking out guys. Look at that. That is a centipede, like a, a big, big Texas centipede. It's dead. I mean, it came into the house and then died. That's a big centipede. Oh my gosh. It's in there. So yeah, I'm not going to open the bin. I'm not going to mess with the bin. These are like me. Ugh, the creepy crawlies, all the legs. Now I'm a little scared to like go in here at all because this has been in the closet and it definitely got in there in the closet. So yeah, freaking out. I will um, go through these. These were in the laundry room. So I'm gonna go through these and start like putting things in bins. But yeah, this project's gonna be on hold until Johnny gets home now. Oh my gosh. Ah! All right, I calmed myself down a little bit. Johnny called me <laughs> immediately when I sent him the text message in the picture. I was like, I'm freaking out, babe. It's so creepy. Uh, he called me immediately, he calmed me down a little bit. He's like, just go put it outside. And I'm like, no, I'm not touching it at all. <laughs> so I'm not touching that. These, thankfully, were not in the closet, but we've got tons of dance things. Some of these are like extra things, and that's the extras bit. So I'm gonna set the extras here, the things that aren't gonna get not gonna get worn all the time. So um, this one is very stiff. It's a brand new one because Stella started a new dance class, so she needed some pink tutus. Let's see, and then we've got some that do not fit anymore. Some that aren't actually for actual dance class at this point. And then step a little tights. So I'm putting things where they need to go. I need to get out her other pair of tights. So she can have a tights in both bins so she takes dance two times a week now. She needs two pairs of tights. And then, yeah, this is a one that Olivia wears under to change outfits. So I want to be in a special place. And also leggings are off season because in Texas you don't need big giant leggings except in winter time. And then these are ones that Olivia wears quite frequently. And then this is Stella. So see, this is the thing I have to undo them to know which one's which. And this one happens to be Stella sized. That's a Stella sized one. And here's another one for Libby. So it depends on what day. She can have a skirt or not have a skirt and need leggings or shorts or various other things. Can wear certain colors, certain days of the week, but otherwise wears black or purple. Like there's very specific rules for each different class she's in. So let's see, we're gonna go ahead and walk down the list here as far as the classes go. So this one will be her purple one plus a colorful one. Let's see, she can wear this one. For Tuesday, which is what she's, oops, the tape's on here. Um, Tuesday's what she's in now, so I'll wash her clothes and then put it back in this basket. She might want this one for Tuesday and then switch with the one she's wearing today. She really likes the one she's wearing today. She'll probably want to wear it again. Okay. We'll just say that one for Tuesday for now. And these are all extras and off-season. There's also cheer stuff. So once we start cheer, we'll have a special place for all the extra cheer things. I'm not touching any of that because it's freaking me out. Um, I might touch the top one because I have been in here recently. So we've got an extra one of Stella's that doesn't fit. We can pass it on to somebody. More leggings. Some scared centipedes are going to fall out on me. So I'm kind of still freaking out a little bit. Like my blood pressure must have gone through the roof. And then this purple one, Olivia changed dance class, so she moved up a level. So she doesn't need this one, but Stella will need this one as her next um, level. This is another one that Libby can wear. All right, let's see. This is another gymnastics one. And then these shorts are for gymnastics as well. And then who has the extra of this one? I think this is an extra Stella. Yeah, that's an extra Stella one. 
Now we've got extra tights. One of these pairs fits and one of these pairs does not fit. So this is the old Stella pair. This is the new Stella pair. And then dance team pants have to go somewhere else. This is the one that will fit Ibs. Libby, um, Stella still calls Libby Ibby sometimes. So I call her Ibs or Ibby. And let's see what else we got. We got these two that might be too small now. I think Stella probably could fit in that one. And that one, oh my goodness, see? Now I think Stella can fit in both of those. So I'm surprised that we have that many for Stella. And then here's some extra Olivia tights. And then a second pair of ballet shoes. Now she's gone through three pairs so far, but we can clean these up and keep them. And then these are extra Olivia tights. So we've got lots of extra stuff that we're not gonna need every day. Let's see what we're going to do. Wednesday, we need a black leotard. And then black. Oh, that one's taped too. I need to get her other black shorts out. I have specific black shorts that I bought her for dance, and then I keep forgetting and sticking them in her closet with all her other clothes. So I need to pull those out. She can wear those Wednesday. And then certain other classes, like her gymnastics classes, the following week. So. Some of these colorful ones we don't need till the following week. It's just, it's a hot mess, guys. There's so many, so many dance things. These need to get washed. Stick them in the wash. And then these are Olivia tights. She needs tights. Um, let's see. She does need tights Monday. She does need tights. Actually, I don't think she needs tights Wednesday. She needs tights just Monday, so these will be extras. And then Skelly is going to be Tuesday and Thursday. So we've got pink for Thursday with a pair of tights. And then we've got black for Tuesday. She likes her sparkly ones the best. And a pair of tights. We'll make two little piles here. So each girl has a little pile there. And then these are extra. Which ones are these extra? These are extra Olivia tights. Yeah, it says the size on here. Big kid. And then these are all extras. This is the does not fit pile. I need to see if anybody wants that set of stuff. I'm going to keep all the things that Olivia has outgrown, but Stella could fit in someday. Because I think Stella's going to want to do exactly what Sissy does. So that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm just going to see if anybody wants this outfit. I've got friends that may want this one because it's too little for Stella now. And um, yeah, all these extras need to go in the extra and off-season boxes, but I'm not touching it right now because I'm freaking out. I'm going to set these just on top for now. And then this one is going to go in the does not fit in Stella's closet because she'll need it at some point. So. Got a pile going here, and then I need to come up with some sort of bow organization because she needed cheer bows. Now we have cheer bows in every color. She'll need those for cheer practice, which I don't think starts for a couple more weeks. I don't think they start this week. Um, they had some cheer activities, but I don't think they're starting their weekly practices for a little bit longer. So that's going to be it for um, part one of this video. It was a very exciting, <laughs> interesting, scary video with the creepy friend. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this sticker off and move that out of the way so that the girls won't mess with it until daddy gets home. Well, maybe just shove it back in the closet. I have to hide all this dance stuff or else Stella will want to switch into her dance clothes constantly. She loves, loves dance clothes. Okay, got the sticker off. All right, this is part two of my video. I am in the crazy Monica closet. You can see like extra shoes. Those dance shoes need to be washed so I can put them away because they're too small for Libby. This is my crazy closet. This is instead of a mud room right now, we don't have a good mud room space. So we've got some hooks hanging up where we hang backpacks and dance bags and tote bags and things. This is other bags and pool towels. We just grab pool towels. I've got to find a place to put these bows. These are the cheer bows that still don't have a place. I put shoes up here because these are specific shoes. I'm just going to set the um, bows up there as well. But we've got dance costumes, more dance costumes, 
dance is taking over this closet and then this is the dance column here with all the stuff and then I've got a utility shelf here for um gosh it has like art supplies extra food things like Costco sized food things um slime making materials like all sorts of crazy things on the shelf it needs to be organized that's another step in the process so now that you saw the whole thing, I'm gonna go step by step. So here we've got shoes up at the top, still in progress. There's a little Nerf gun even in here. I took it away from Stella one day. <laughs> and then we've got Monday dance, Tuesday dance. It could be activities as well. We're gonna have more activities coming up soon. We've got Wednesday, Thursday, extra, and then off season. So like longer dance pants. Also like water jugs in here. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's, it's embarrassing how crazy this closet is, but one step in the process has been done. The dance clothes are organized, easy to get to, easy to put away, and then we can just load the dance bags, and I'm very excited. And that is it for this video. I am super happy with how this turned out. It was such a simple, easy fix for the dance craziness, but I did not think of it until recently. So I was so proud of myself for coming up with the system and I have been using it now for two weeks and loving it. It has changed the way I do things. As soon as the clothes get washed, they go right back in the correct bin and we're ready to go for all the days of activity. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can follow me along. I will have some more organization videos coming up. I've been slowly but surely starting to organize various parts of the house and I'll take you along on that journey. So have a great day. Thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.